Hello, everybody. I'm Jen. And I'm Waylon. And so our uh, framing of what we're going to do today is first we're going to show you a kind of timeline of what our project looks like, and then we are going to take you on a tour to actually see it, how it turned out. So this is what the herb garden almost looked like at the beginning of, sem of the semester. That's after a lot of weeding that we did. And I talked to Matt recently and he said that before the previous semester, the weeds went up to about where the deck is. If you can see the kitchen deck on the side over there. So a lot of progress has been made in this area. And when we first came in, we saw a space that looked like it had so much potential. There was wild mint growing that was just delicious, but it was kind of boxed in and it didn't really draw people in and you never saw anyone going in there and it was really rarely used and we thought that was quite a shame. Needed a little bit of love. So our first step was picking out all the mint that was growing in. It smelled so good. So we took it out and we hung it up to dry it for tea and we also took the comfrey out and did the same except not for tea. Mm -hmm. So, as a sustainability project, we wanted to do everything in the most sustainable way we could possible. So, when we were doing weeding, we thought about how we could use the weeds. And when we were building, we thought a lot about the materials we could use and using materials that are from here. And so, you'll see some more of that soon. So, our first step was moving. We wanted to create a space. And a patio space in the middle, and so we had to move all the um, saw the wood chips away. So he's just a. Mm -hmm. And we made a nice little circle in the middle. You can see right and there. And also, as you can see, we wanted to create a space that was beautiful as well as useful. So we painted, primed all the boxes, and um, yeah. That's the same picture, but there's a pumpkin in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we were gonna make a we made a patio in the center, and we needed to make sure that no weeds were going to grow. So we put down cardboard um, to help prevent that for a little while. Also, shout out to Sebi, our wonderful mentor and person <laughs> who helped us. We did the project. Yeah, and the cardboard was just left over from the kitchen, so we found a good home for it. So, our next step was to gather sand, because we were going to put down, um, on our patio we were going to put down like rocks to make, to, uh, to make a patio. And we needed, <laughs> we needed it to be able to, if we just put it on the dirt or on the wood chips, it would have wiggled around, we wanted it to really settle in and be sturdy. So we gathered sand from our, a local place where we, there's free sand, mm -hmm. and yeah. If you ever need some sand, um, <laughs> Nevada County gives it out for free. We also, <laughs> we also gathered some free rocks, which was pretty great too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun. That helped us. <laughs> then we threw it on the, that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> we got a tarp to cover up the boxes and just kind of bobbed all the sand in. And it worked. We trimmed it down, tromped it down, and then we started putting rocks around the edge to kind of make the patio look really nice. And our goal was really to beautify the place to bring people's attention in. And so we also started painting, and there's the beginning of that. You'll hopefully see the end products later, depending on where the snow fell. So, as well as um, making the patio, there was also an empty space in one of the corners of the herb garden where there's, it's pretty shady, but we wanted to make another bed. So we found all these river rocks as well as the rocks that we got from the place of the sand, and we made this beautiful little bed and we tried to bring it forward as much as possible so that it could get as much sun as possible 
And also, another piece of artwork that we put in there, as you can see, hopefully, um, we made like a flower with local materials that we found. <laughs> An old rusty pipe and a bent bicycle wheel. We had, we had a pretty dry fall, so a lot of the stream beds were dry, and we were able to go down and collect rocks and haul them up in a wheelbarrow, which was so much fun. <laughs> and we also found a spare bathtub lying around. And when you see a spare bathtub and you're working on creating a garden full of art, you think, wow. There were so many things I could do with that bathtub, <laughs> and so we took it, and, found it. <laughs> and we painted it white. So, we wanted to make the bathtub into a sculpture, and Sevi knew how to um, well, well, thank you. Uh, I came up with the idea of the bathtub as a ship, a sailing ship, and that could also be used to fill with dirt and soil and compost and plant in. And also I could have a crow's nest on top of the bars that could be another planting pot. And the idea just kind of flowed and flowed and we found metal that we could use. And you can kind of see it there, but I got to weld for the first time, and that was a really cool experience. Now that you've seen a lot of the work that we've put in, um, after the rest of the presentations in here, we'll be going around and we can show you the final projects and our wonderful sailing ship. <laughs> Yeah, we added a good amount of herbs and added them in special places. So as we walk along outside, we'll show you where we can see them and what and why. Mm -hmm. And if you have any more questions, um, feel free to uh, please like, come up to us while we're walking over and while we're there. Mm -hmm. Love to answer. Are there any other questions for here? And now? Grab your coats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So just while well, everyone's. Do you have a question? Did you make the little entryway from the deck? Or the we, um, we, this herb garden is, um, we've done a lot of stuff to it. And there's still, we wanted to create a space where we could invite like, people to keep on coming in and making more art. So we painted a good amount, and we're going to continue painting just because it's fun if, if the snow goes away and we're able to. And so there are still a lot of open spaces for more art. And we also made, and we're in the process of making, uh, stairs so that people can get more easily into it. Mm -hmm. And we've done a lot of math and found the word we can use, so hopefully by the time we leave, they'll be safe. Yeah. Also, we, um, the only things that we uh, bought over the course of our project were herbs to plant and some potting soil. And so what we put in the bed over here and here is half potting soil and half dirt that we went around and collected from gopher holes and other piles of dirt where we could find them on campus. You worked hard. Thank you.